Hello, Tahir here from AnywhereWealth.com and welcome to my review of Steve Chu's My Wife Quits Her Job. Nothing to do with me, that's the title that he's given. And I'll be covering three things. What is our verdict of his courses? What information do you need before making a purchase? And is there a better alternative? And please make sure you stay to the end of the video because I'm going to show you how you can claim a free surprise gift. And also, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you'd like to find out more about investment products and wealth creating products. And also, just a quick side note, I'm not affiliated with Steve Chu in any way and I will not be promoting his service. So people often start online stores for various reasons. It can be a flexible way to earn extra income. And you can also manage your online store alongside your regular day job. Or maybe you're thinking about giving up your day job and opening up your own online business. And more than 30% of people around the world, if you think about your own habits, everybody else's habits is shopping online. And having an online store is becoming increasingly popular amongst people. So what Steve Drews does, basically, he runs courses and he shows you how you can sell on Amazon, launch your own private e-commerce store, and use things like AdWords and Google shopping ads to drive traffic. And e-commerce... And having an online store is an idea worth looking at, but it's always crucial to weigh up your options and to see what's selling on Amazon before you dive in. Uh, it's not a terrible idea, and uh, Steve Chu, to be fair to him, is transparent about his business. However, the problem I have with e-commerce stores is they have very low profit margins. It takes a lot of time, it takes a lot of stress. I used to have my own store, and I can tell you from my own experience I spent more time doing that than I did anything else. Your whole life stops. And if you want to assess my wife quit a job based on factors like time investment, level of control, ease of implementation and profit potential, it's uh, worth doing a little bit of digging around and having a look before you dive in. So it's suitable for people who uh, want to open up an e-commerce store and can form easy connections with like global wholesalers, a lot of people drop shift, so they bring things in from China, very cheap products, and sell them uh, for a, a profit online. And he offers, Steve Chu offers e-commerce lessons about how you can do that. But the problem is that Amazon is quite saturated now. There's, you know, everyone and his dog selling online. And who is Steve Chu? Well, Steve Chu is an entrepreneur, and educator, known for his expertise in e-commerce and online business. And he started uh, my wife quit her job back in 2009 he's got an electrical engineering background from stanford university and so what does steve chu uh, program offer well he offers uh, educational resources that offers guidance insight into the world of e-commerce and online business and the platform covers a range of topics related to starting managing and growing your own e-commerce store and some of the stuff that he offers is educational content in various formats, including blog posts, courses, and podcasts. It gives you a diverse e-commerce strategy, utilizing things like uh, Google Ads and uh, how to launch your own private e-commerce store, how to leverage Amazon. And the platform also hosts a community of like-minded individuals interested in e-commerce, and people can engage with each other and share ideas. There's guidance for complete beginners, offering step-by-step -step, uh, things that you can do, understanding the different business models and navigating the challenges of the industry. And there's a focus on long-term profitability and it covers topics such as product selection, pricing strategies and maximizing returns. What are the pros and cons? Well, the pros firstly are that um, there's comprehensive education available. So if you're a complete beginner, that would be very useful. There's a diversified set of selling strategies. It goes through his insights and how to brand and how to start your own website and sell your own website. And there's also lifetime access to extensive resources. There's 450 in-depth video tutorials and there's uh, additional videos each week. There's live engagement opportunities, like before I was saying that you can engage with like-minded people, uh, both experienced entrepreneurs and people just starting out and you get that community support and there's also insights from industry experts so Stephen Chu invites people in so that you can talk to people who've already set up their own stores who are people who are leaders in their industry in the e-commerce online business uh, industry 
And there's also a practical action application and tools. And there's a checklist for launch success. So you can go over making sure that your strategy is in place and you've got everything that you need before you open up your own store. But the problems are, the cons are that there's slim profit margins in e-commerce. I can speak from experience, very slim profit margins. I know there's a lot of people that are very successful with this. But the problem is, is that the reason why you have slim profit margins is because you've got to dip into your own savings. You've got to dip into actual profits that you make to put it back into your store. So you don't really end up with much at the end of the day. There's a huge risk in competition and there's other people entering the market all the time. People are just starting up. You can throw up a website now for practically nothing and get a domain name. So people are throwing up um, websites all the time. So you've got places like Squarespace and Wix. And it's so, it's so easy, even if you haven't got any technical skills, to open up your own store. There's dependency on global connections, particularly with Chinese wholesalers, which can be difficult because you can't assess or, or review what they're selling and how good it is. So you've just got to take it, uh, take a great risk and take a chance. Uh, there's additional costs, the cost of structure of the program, along with extra fees for setting up a website. So you've got to think about your domain fees. You've got to think about your website, whether you're going to need to hire people to keep your website up to date. Also connect your website with payment providers like Stripe, which can become very, very technical and also having a functional email where people can contact you. And that's the other thing about having an e-commerce store is the amount of complaints that you get and people just wanting to return stuff. And, you know, and you've also got to worry about things like bad reviews, uh, which go online and there's nothing you, know, you can't really control apart from responding to them. And the problem with well, my wife quits her job, it does not thoroughly address all these pitfalls. And Amazon is becoming more and more competitive you got to remember that Amazon is concerned also about making a profit. Yes, it does host people on the store, but Amazon is, you know, wants to maximize their profits. So if you go on there, they're going to be charging you fees as well. And there's ongoing costs and obviously concerns with debt. So you don't want to get into debt. You don't want to borrow money, take out loans to start an online business because you want to be in a good financial position, not start off with a negative. Are there any online reviews? Yes, there is on a Reddit post. And this user said that they've had experience with this course and it was very expensive. And he believes that Stephen Chu may have been a little bit deceptive. And he's um, say, saying that he's a great salesperson. And he also goes in about talking about Amazon and you've got to do a lot of research to make sure that the niche that you enter, the product niche that you enter is profitable, that you've not got heavy competition. And he expresses dissatisfaction with the course, mentioned it's not as thorough as it seems, finding information is challenging and he found it to be expensive. So is Stephen Chu legitimate? Yeah, I say he was a legitimate guy. He's definitely not a scammer. He's not trying to scam people. He is open and honest about what he does. However, managing an Amazon FBA and an e-commerce store is challenging and very time consuming. Many online stores face difficulties in keeping up with their competitors and obviously securing advertising space. So not only the competition you've got with your store, but also having to uh, compete with your other people for ad space, like on Google ads and AdWords and competing for keywords. And with a lot of products being sold online now it's very difficult to find a profitable niche but there could be a better alternative so what is the best way of making money online well i think it's through high ticket affiliate marketing and that's promoting other people's offers and products for up to a thousand dollars in commission per sale and the benefits are that it's zero little cost involved doesn't require stock or inventory doesn't require specialist knowledge you can work from anywhere you don't have to quit your day job and it's really easy to set up if you're interested, then please check the description section of this video to find out what to do next. And you can also claim your free gift, which is a cheat sheet, three proven steps to quit your nine to five job with high ticket affiliate marketing. And I go on a little bit more about what affiliate marketing is, how you can find a product niche, how you can get started, how you can drive traffic. And if you'd like to find out a little bit more about wealth building and investing, then please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you for joining me.
Take care.